morning's come, you watch the red sunrise. The LED still flickers in your eyes. All you Hello, and welcome to the concepts video on rational functions. Okay, so what is a rational function? Let me define that for you right now. So a rational function is basically, uh, it's, it's based on, the structure is based on power functions um, with negative integer powers. So with negative integer powers. Integer meaning um, just whole numbers, right? It's like one, two, three. Okay, so the thing is, let's let's look at one over x. This function here, okay? Uh, that's one of our like toolkit graphs or toolkit functions, right? And it looks like this. So here's x and y, and it looks like this on the right side, and kind of like this on the left side, right? So something like that. And we can see as as we get closer to zero, okay, as x approaches zero from the left hand side, our graph is shooting downward, right? It's going to negative infinity. Okay, as x approaches uh, zero from the right side, so here's zero, right? Our graph is going up, right? It's going up to infinity. Okay, so because these ones don't reconcile or uh, meet up anywhere, they are undefined. Our function is undefined at uh, x is equal to zero. Okay, and we can see that because if you try to plug in a zero, we can't, we just can't do it. It's undefined there. Okay, so um, as I was discussing, and I'll write it in more formal terms, so for, as for the short run behavior though, as x approaches zero, so we could say as x approaches zero from the right hand side, this plus sign means from the right, okay? It doesn't mean like from positive zero because zero doesn't have a positive or negative sign. Um, but anyways, so as x approaches zero from the right, our f of x, our function value, goes to positive infinity, right? That's a, that's all I was saying. So as x is coming from the right-hand side, doo -doo -doo, and it's approaching zero, our function shoots upward, okay? And it goes to negative infinity, or positive infinity, sorry. Positive infinity. Uh, whereas on the other hand, when we have x approaching zero from the left-hand side, and that's what the negative sign denotes there. It's not really negative. It just means from the left, okay? So as x is coming from the negative from the left, <laughs> from the left, um, we have that our function is going downward, it's dropping, right? So uh, f of x goes to negative infinity, okay? So when this happens, we have uh, a term to describe it, and it's called an asymptote, asymptote, kind of like a bag, right? Like a tote. Um, anyway, so an asymptote is basically any, or a line, a line that a graph ap approaches graph approaches, okay? It can touch it, but it'll approach that in the long run kind of thing, we're saying. So, uh, and in particular, what we have was called a vertical asymptote, okay? Because the line went up and down, it is vertical, okay? So we had a vertical asymptote at um, x equals zero. So our graph again, it looked like this, right? So kind of like opposing horseshoes there. So right here on this line that I'm kind of making bold, sort of, um, this is the line x equals zero, right? And that is, this is the equation for our vertical asymptote uh, for the graph of one over x. Because our graph approaches that line, but it doesn't quite get there, okay? Okay, so now let's explore the concept of horizontal asymptotes, okay? So I'll just abbreviate here, horizontal asymptotes. Okay, so this is, these are obtained by studying what happens in the long run, okay? So these are obtained from long run behavior, okay? And sometimes, just sometimes, um, the graphs or functions don't have horizontal asymptotes. Sometimes they don't have vertical asymptotes either, but we'll just have to see. So what do I mean by long run behavior? I mean, as x goes to positive infinity, does the graph approach any certain value? And as x goes to negative infinity, does it go to any certain value as well? So let's look at our graph, and we see, well, as x goes to positive infinity, meaning all the way to the right, our graph is kind of getting closer and closer to the x-axis, right? Which means that our function value is dropping to zero, okay? So we see, okay, so for our graph, as x goes to positive infinity, f of x 
Um, and again, I'll just put a reminder, f of x is equal to 1 over x, right? f of x goes to 0, okay? And as x goes to negative infinity, now let's look, okay, so x is going all the way this way, and our function is, is negative, right? The function values are negative, but they're also getting closer to the x-axis, which also means uh, our f of x is approaching 0, okay? So that means that our horizontal asymptote is going to be characterized by the line. Uh, we could just say like y equals 0. That's usually how it's denoted, okay? And that gives us a horizontal line right here, okay? And that's our horizontal intercept, or sorry, horizontal asymptote right there. Okay, so to recap, I know that was a lot of info all in one. So a vertical asymptote, and I'll, I'll be abbreviating, okay? So this means a vertical asymptote. So when... This is when x is approaching some value, okay, and uh, our f of x and our function is approaching, or when it approaches positive and or negative infinity, okay? This is kind of, this is considered like a short run study or a short run analysis because our x is approaching one value, right, and not like positive or negative infinity. So conversely, when we have a horizontal asymptote, this is uh, when our function, when the function values actually approach a certain value uh, as x goes to positive and or negative infinity. Okay, so this is considered the long run analysis, okay? Just because x, because we're looking at x in terms of x, so long run as for as per our x, okay? So let's look at an example, um, or not an example, but I'll show you something cool that happens to these asymptotes uh, if we shift a graph. Okay, so here's a function that we're given, and its corresponding graph on the right-hand side. So if we just look at the function itself, we see that this is basically like a 1 over x graph, okay? But it's shifted a little bit, right? So we have this minus a minus 2 attached to the x. Okay, so that means that it shifted, so shift uh, left by 2, left 2. Okay, and then we added a 3 all the way out here, so that means we went up 3, okay? So up 3. Okay, so that's how we could graph this, and we also note that, okay, so remember for 1 over x, our vertical asymptote was x equals 0, okay, and our horizontal asymptote was y equals 0, okay? Now, for our graph, let's see what this is now. So our vertical asymptote, we now see it at, let's see, it looks like, I'm trying to draw a straight line right now, um, negative 2, right? So this is the line x equals negative 2. This is our new vertical asymptote. Do, so you see how when we shifted our graph left 2, our vertical asymptote also went left 2, right? Okay, so now let's study our horizontal asymptote for our new graph. It looks to be right here, and that is y equals positive 3. So again, we see how before our horizontal asymptote was here for our 1 over x graph, right? It was at 0, and that also went up 3. It shifted along with our graph, okay? Alrighty, so um, just another trivia thing, kind of, sort of. Um, f of x on the previous example, um, which was given by 1 over x plus 2 plus 3, we could also kind of transform this and just write it as a uh, one fraction. So 3 times x plus 2 over x plus 2. So we ultimately get 3x plus 6 plus 1, so plus 7 over uh, just a single x plus 2. Okay, so this leads us to the general form of a rational function, okay? So here's general form form of a rational, rational function, okay? I'll just abbreviate here. Okay, so what is the general form? It is f of x, and it doesn't have to be labeled f. You could just pick any name. So f of x, some function is equal to one function of x over another function of x, okay? Where both of these, this is um, a ratio of two polynomial polynomials, we could say, okay? So hence the name ratio, uh, hence the name... Uh, rational function, right? So it all makes sense now, right? But um, anyway, so in a more long and drawn out and scary looking way, uh, this could also be written a naught, uh, that's called naught, or a zero, um, plus a one x one plus a two x squared plus dot dot dot, um, up to like 
something like this. And this is just for notation's sake so you guys can see, okay, what's the long and drawn out way of writing this? Um, but basically this is it. So, and then you just add, add, add. Okay, so we have B, I don't know, Q, X to the Q. So this is the whole like formal form of a rational function. I just like to think of it like this, like the ratio of two polynomials. And this is just a way of writing a bunch of polynomials. Um, so anyways, yeah. So let's, let's see um, how we would find vertical asymptotes and uh, horizontal asymptotes. Mm -hmm.